the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. As you can see, my brother Jose Rodriguez will be my translator. Thank you very, very much, Jose. I am very, very, very excited to be here. I'm excited to be here not only for Luis, no solamente por Luis, and even though that's enough to be excited about, y solamente eso es suficiente para estar feliz. I'm excited because of what Luis is being received into the Episcopal Church means for this community. I consider it a sign of hope. Lo considero un símbolo de esperanza. You see. For Jesus to come into our midst through his leaders and his people means that he loves us and that he cares for us deeply. A Jesús entrar a nuestro medio a través de su líder nos enseña que Jesucristo nos ama mucho. You see, leadership given in this kind of compassion is a sign of God's love to the rest of the world. Liderazgo dado este, en, como un símbolo de la compasión de Dios es un símbolo del amor que Dios tiene para este mundo. With, without such leaders, the scripture says that we are like sheep without a shepherd. We are harassed. We do not know what to do. Sin líderes así, la palabra de Dios dice que somos como este, ovejas sin un pastor y somos conectados, pero no hay nadie que nos viene a rescatar, rescatarnos. In fact, for there to be no leaders, no godly leaders, in fact, would be a sign of God's judgment. It means that we would be left to figure it out on our own. And, and, and we know, do we not, that we don't always know the right thing to do. La ausencia de líderes nos enseña que nosotros estaremos solo tratando de este, figure things out on our own. Se dice que eso es como... No sé decir eso, pero este, sin tratar de caminos nuestro mismo, sin saber qué hacer. So, for God to raise up Luis, as well as others, the leadership is in fact a son that God wants to lead us, not as a judge, but as a shepherd. Al Señor traigo a Luis a subirlo como un líder, enseñar lo que Dios no, quiere estar con nosotros, no como juez, pero como un líder a enseñar el camino. Which is why it is so appropriate that to, on the day that we receive Luis here, we should say together the 23rd Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd. Por eso es tan apropiado que en un, un momento como esto nos unimos y decimos juntos las palabras del Salmo 23. For Luis, this is an obligation for us no? to say that we want God to lead through us means that we have to be willing to be shepherds like Jesus is a shepherd. I am sure you know that I have priests who do not think like shepherds, but people who are priests who are like James and John in the Gospel reading, they do not want to be shepherds, they want power. Yes? Realmente es la verdad que tenemos sacerdotes quienes no quieren ser líderes como pastores, pero quieren tener poder como los apóstoles, los dos hermanos en esta historia. They do not love their people. No All quieren... they want is to do, you to do what they say. No aman al prójimo, solamente quieren que tú hagas lo que tú digas. And if you do not do what they say, then they will invoke God's judgment. So the people are afraid. La gente tema. That is not a good shepherd. Eso no es un pastor bueno. Instead, if you look at the gospel reading, Jesus describes the kinds of leaders that he wants. Si lees el Evangelio, vas a ver que Jesucristo describe el tipo de líder que quiere. He who wants to be great in the kingdom of God must learn to be the servant of all. El que quiere ser grande en el reinado de Dios tiene que aprender a ser el sirviente de todo. It means taking on sometimes the difficult task 
of not grabbing power, but serving and loving instead. Eso significa que, que, que uno tiene que, en vez de tomar poder, uno tiene que aprender a servir. If your priest, if you do not know that your priest loves you, then perhaps your priest is not leading as God intends. Si tú tienes un sacerdote y tú le sientes que él te ama, a lo mejor tu sacerdote no sabe servir como Dios quiere que reciba. For that love, that kind of love, that kind of compassion is the hallmark of real Christian priesthood. Ese tipo de amor, ese tipo de compasión es el ejemplo de lo que es hacer un sacerdote cristiano. Jesus himself demonstrated it by what? By washing the feet of his disciples to the shock of those whose feet he washed. They did not want him to do it. Jesucristo el mismo enseñó esto para lavar los pies a sus discípulos a la misma consternación de lo que estaban viendo es que ese acto de comunidad. Priesthood at its best is allowing Jesus to express his servanthood and his love through the priest to others. El mejor ejemplo de ser un sacerdote es dejar que su Cristo enseñe su amor a través de la de la sacerdote al pueblo. That's the kind of priesthood. That's the kind of leaders that we should have here in the Diocese of Central Florida. Esos son los tipos de sacerdotes, los tipos de líderes que en este diócesis de Puerto Rico. People who are honest. Gente que es honesto. People who are trustworthy. A quien le puede dar confianza. People who know how to love and care for others. Gente que sabe amar y tener compasión hacia el prójimo. People who are willing to live sacrificially to serve the people that God gives them. Gente que sabe vivir una vida de sacrificio para servir al pueblo dado a él. If you want to be a priest just so that people can respect you, this is the wrong position for you. Si quieres ser un sacerdote solamente para que el pueblo te respete, esta es la incorrecta vocación para ti. Because in the Church of Jesus Christ, authority comes through not power, but servitude. So that, in, so that in our church, the people who we notice, who we recognize, are the ones who are serving, who are giving, who are going out of their way to care for other people, whether they are lay or ordained. Los líderes que nosotros reconocimos son ellos quienes sirven y sacrifican su vida para el prójimo. No importa si son este laico o sacerdote. That's what Jesus means. If you want to be great in the kingdom of God, then you must learn to be the servant of all. Es lo que Jesucristo significa. Si quieres ser grande en el reinado de Cristo, tienes que aprender a ser un sirviente a todos. But to serve like that means God has to do a supernatural work in your heart. Pero para servir así significa que el Señor tiene que hacer un acto supernatural en tu corazón. Because this is not true. It is easy to serve the people that you like. It's not so easy to serve the people that you do not. No es cierto que es más fácil servir a los que a los quienes tú quieres y no a los quienes tú no quieres. But the compassion of Jesus. Pero la compasión de Jesucristo. Is for all peoples. Es para todos. Not just the ones that we like. No solamente a ellos quienes queremos. And in every congregation, including this one, yes. Y en toda congregación, incluyendo esta. There will be people that we like. Para la gente que queremos. And there are people that we wish would find another place to go. Y para la gente que queramos que consigan otro lugar para este congregarse. And yet they belong here too because Jesus loves everyone. Pero ellos también pertenecen aquí porque Jesucristo ama a todos. So to serve everyone can break your heart. Para servir a todos puede romper tu corazón. It can cost you. Puede costarte. But that's what it did to Jesus. Pero eso es lo que le pasó a Jesucristo. That's what he meant when he, Jesus turned to James and John and said, Can you drink the same cup that I drink? Eso es lo que significó cuando Jesucristo fue hacia 
Juan y Santiago y le dijo, puedes tomar tú el mismo cáliz que obedece a Juan. Are you willing for this love to break your heart? Estás dispuesto que este amor te rompa el corazón. Are you willing to give sacrificially even when you are tired and you feel like you have nothing to give? Estás dispuesto dar sacrificialmente hasta cuando estés cansado y no tienes más que dar. It is not an easy call. No es un llamado fácil. But Pero, it is a call filled with miracles. Es un llamado lleno de maravillas. We get to be in places where we serve people and we see God move and change lives. Podemos estar en lugares donde podemos servir el pueblo de Dios y podemos ver a Dios este, cambiar y transformar vidas. God, I think in His mercy, allows us from time to time to see enough of a miracle to allow us to continue to give, even in the hard work. Dios en su misericordia nos da el la bendición de poder ver lo a él moverse poquito a poquito para permitir a nosotros seguir moviéndonos so it is a hard life but sí. I would never want to do anything else si sí, es una vida difícil pero yo no quería hacer otra cosa so Luis Luis stand para ver God is calling you in the Episcopal Church Dios está llamando a la Iglesia Episcopal be a servant, to bring the best of what God has given you, in intellect, in, intellecto, in prayer, in, oración, in wisdom, in, sabiduría, in teaching, in, enseñanza, in sacrifice, in sacrificio, all expressing the love that God has poured into your heart. Todo expresando el amor que Dios ha puesto a ti en tu corazón. It is a very high call. Es un llamado muy alto. It is not for everyone. No es para todos. But I rejoice that God has called you. Pero estoy este, en gozo que Dios te ha llamado a ti. To come and express that priesthood that He has given you here in the Episcopal Diocese of Central Florida. Que tú venga a expresar ese santo día este que Dios te ha dado a ti aquí en esta iglesia de Colón. As your bishop, I welcome. Como tu obispo, te invito a Walker. Te invito a que me diga. So, particularly here, please pray for Luis. Aquí en particular, por favor, oren por Luis. That God will protect him. Que Dios lo protege. Give him strength. Y le dé fuerza. Fuerza. And continue to express the no, love of Jesus Christ through his life. Y continúa, que pueda continuar a expresar el amor de Jesucristo en su vida. Because if that happens, that is priesthood. Porque si eso pasa, eso es sacerdotía. And God is glorified. Y Dios es glorificado.